اعوذبلشیطانجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ادعلا سبیل رب قبل حکمتی ولم عزت الحسنتی و جا دل ہم بلتی ہی احسن صدق اللہ العظیم رب شرح علی صدری و یسر علی عمری وحل العقدم السانی یفق قولی ریسپیکٹڈ ویورز اینڈ لسنرز السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ دا ورس وچ آئی ہیو ریسائٹیڈ از دا سیگمنٹ فرام سورہ نحل چیپٹر 16 ورس 125 اللہ سیز ادعو الی سبیل ربک بالحکمت انوائٹ آل دی پیپل انٹو دی وے اف یور لارڈ اور انٹو دی وے ٹو یور لارڈ ول موعظت الحسنتی اینڈ گائڈ ٹاک ٹو دیم ان دی بیسٹ وے اینڈ دی مینرز فرسٹ کال آل دی پیپل وتھ وزڈم اینڈ دین وتھ بیوٹیفل پریچنگ وجا دل ہم بلتی ہی احسن اینڈ اف یو ہیو این آرگیومنٹس دین ڈو اٹ ان دا بیسٹ مینرز سو وی ہیو تھری کیٹیگریز چیپٹر سکسٹین ورس ہنڈریڈ اینڈ ٹوئنٹی فائیو فرسٹ آف آل ادو ادو الا سبیل اور ابی کا بل حکمتی انوائٹ دا پیپل ہو آر دا فل آف وزڈم ولم عزت الحسنتی سیکنڈ ون دا پیپل ہو آر سمپل لائک سافٹ ہارٹیڈ پیپل و جا دل ہم بلتی ہی احسن اینڈ آرگیو ود دا پیپل ہو آر جدالا ہو آر ڈیپیٹرز ان ادر ورڈز ان ٹو ڈیز ٹرمینالوجی بٹ ان دا بیوٹیفل مینرز یو ہیو ٹو آرگیو ود دیم سو وٹ ڈو وی لرن فرام دس ورس دیٹ دے آر تھری ٹائپس آف پیپل وین ایور یو کانفرنٹ ود دیم you have to face these things so number one the people of wisdom who are these people people who have high intellects what you call intellectuals of the society intelligentsia or the people of science in today's terminology you see wisdom is a debatable stuff it's very subjective in islamic point of view wisdom is the thing if you have physical sciences and metaphysical sciences lumped up these two knowledge it becomes wisdom neither you are on the side of materialism nor only in the side of spiritualism you are making a balance between both of them then it becomes hikma wisdom so this is the islamic notion but generally wisdom people are also those who think too much or who are the wise people so if you try to talk to them you have to have a knowledge a knowledge of every aspect the knowledge of science the knowledge of technology you must equip with the universities and today's eras knowledge and all things you know information we have circulating around if we are weak in those kind of things it is hard for us to give this message of quran to those people who are the people of wisdom in today's terminology you see in the past muslims were in full of wisdom they were the pioneers of all the message of science and technology to the rest of the world it is our fate now irony of fate that we have forgotten all those things and unfortunately we are in the hands of those people disbelievers who were those that back of time were learning from us but we are learning from them now it is the time paradigm shift happens in the history of the annals of the history and inshallah in the future muslims will revive again it will be the awakenings inshallah which will happen soon but now from this verse what can we induce or deduce allah says the first people are the full of wisdom so whenever you talk to them you cannot convince them with some verses of quran you have to talk to them in deep manners embryology in the quran talk to embryologist then the people geologists talk to them about quran about the mountains how allah has created mountains the people of oceans oceanography talk to them how the mount these oceans have layers after layers after layers and then there is a pitch darkness and you find nothing there mariana trench for example or wherever the deep parts of the oceans atlantic ocean or pacific ocean vice versa 
So this is the time you talk to them. But how are you going to talk to them? Allah says in Surah Al-Anam that the more you go up, the pressure changes and your chest getting constricted. How do you know all these things if you don't know the basic science? If you don't know what happens to the atoms of oxygen when they react in the upper atmosphere to the lower one. You see these kind of things you owe to yourself being Muslim. Muslims are made to be educated. Remember that we are made to be educated. Unfortunately, it is not so the case. Information we do have, but knowledge, can we create something? No, we can only utilize things nowadays. We are not creating anything in the fields of anything, any sciences, because we are being rambled in our own issues. We are just tangled in our own issues. And those issues are incorrigible. No way to come out. It's like an oscillation of lambrit or enigma. We keep oscillating, oscillating. That's all. This is our sad part. I just say irony of fate. So, second uh, people, people are good hearted. Now, good hearted people with the opening of your mouth and calling them towards the way of Islam, you will see their eyes will become, you know, wet. And this is what Allah says, their hearts are not hard. Like the Jews in the Quran, Allah says that their hearts are like tougher than these, you know, stones. This is not the case of these people. They are soft hearted people. They are waiting for the message. They have a thirst. Quench. And you have to quench that thirst. And if we are not doing so, we are failing on our duty. This is our duty to do all these things. But unfortunately, we are not. This verse in Surah Al-Nahl is the proof that what Allah is expecting from us to deliver the message to three, three categories in the world. Number one, the people of wisdom. Then number two, I already discussed, good-hearted people. You convey the message of Islam, Allah will open their chests and then the message will go inside it. But you have to make the first step. First step you owe to yourself. O Muslims, the second and the third step, then Allah will take care of that. But Allah is looking at you and he doesn't need you. Trust me, Allah doesn't need you. You see, in the Bible, these Jews, they were all the time putting back Jesus Christ and telling them before Abraham, you were not there, Abraham, Prophet Abraham, and they did not understand the message. So Jesus Christ said that, why are you making all these things? You know, if God wants to take the work, he can even rise, raise these stones and take the work from them. So this is not the point. The point is the test. What are you doing? What are you made of? of? And what things you are required to do in this world? What are the prerequisites to go to the heaven, paradise? This is what we owe to, your, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being a Muslim. Third category. Now this category. This category is the people of debates who are jadala, who want some confrontation. So give one. Allah says, give them one, but make sure the manners are good in conduct. Why? Because if you say bad things about their God, they will return and return same things to you. So Allah does not like these kind of things. Either talk, but talk in a good manner or do not talk. So the third category is this. The purpose of this lecture is, you know, many brothers and my students, they ask me that, Sir, tell us how do we convey message to Christians, to Jews or Hindus, vice versa? What is the way? I say, this is the way. <clears throat> See, if the guy is full of wisdom, you cannot convince him through these verses of Quran because these are a touch of spiritualism. You have to go through materialistic door to open his heart and get reasoned with him. Why don't they ponder Quran with critical care? Had it been from anyone other than Allah, you would have found therein much discrepancy. Then you have found there is contradictions. This is Surah An-Nisa chapter 4 verse 82. So this is what Allah is saying that you have to ponder. Now ponder, you have to have the knowledge. Allah mentioned about the waves, about embryology, about cosmic balance. If you don't know anything about cosmology, how would you understand? 
and all of the heavens are plunged into cosmic balance. How would you know these things? I'm asking my Muslim brothers or especially those students who are just uh, you know studying from madrasas how would you coop up these verses to these all western people is islam only constricted in madrasas or is only made for few selected people of the community of those madrasas or only one language language is the tool prophet says that the best weapon is the enemy's weapon you against you use against him in the strategy so this today's weapon is language english language i'm not saying that you start learning english but at least the science the scientific knowledge must be there no background knowledge of science i'm not criticizing anyone please mark my words i say to ulamas myself i love those people and i'm from the community i'm not the person who just speak like one man show so we do everything under the umbrella of ulamas alhamdulillah but where is the problem you have to say you cannot keep quiet and see things remember that open your mouth anything can be rectified anything can be reprimanded nobody is picture perfect except prophets so everything must be done under to the way of right <coughs> decisions decision making teamwork there's no one man show in islam prophet says there is no islam without jamaat there is no Islam. Remember that Islam comes with congregation. Islam comes with the people and together Islamic Ummah rose and together Islamic Ummah will rise. This is what we owe to ourselves. So debates. What debates you have to do with these people who are jadala, who wants confrontation. They don't listen to the message of Quran. Tell them to bring your exhibits. Bring your proof. Let's see and let's reason together and see where the truth lies. For Christians, for example, talk only on fundamental topics. Do not go beyond fundamental topics. Is Jesus God? Prove it from your Bible. Crucifixion, is it real or not? Prove it from your Bible. Is the Bible God's word? Prove it from your Bible. Original sin, prove it from your Bible. On and on. The catechism or the doctrine of the dogma of Christian dumb, only those topics must be dealt. All other sidetracks, we are not interested in your history, what the, what the historian said, what that, that particular contem contemporary history said. This is not the point here. The point, discuss what matters you have in your Bible because Allah says, Kul hatu burhanukum. Ask them their proof and exhibits and the testaments translation in English is also exhibit is one of the synonyms. So please don't waste our time. Talk about fundamentals. You will see where the truth lies. You see, for 1400 years, Adhan, the proclamation calling towards prayer, has been going on. For 1400 years, there is no religion on earth. You know that? Which says five times a day, and this is never stopping till Yom Al Qiyamah. Every part of the world, Eastern Hemisphere to the Western Hemisphere, Northern or Southern, you see all this world is plunging into some kind of time zones and the time zones making Allah too, like for continuously 
the Adhan going on everywhere. It's not stopping. If something here is an Asr time, some in the part of the world is Maghrib time, then some part of the world is Fajr time. And all these time frames, SubhanAllah, it is divided in the way that is never ending. And this is what Islam, this is the prophesied in the Bible, that the last religion will be praised all over the world. This will be proclamation of the last Prophet ﷺ, Muhammad ﷺ, meaning the praised one. And he is being praised all over the world. On what grounds? The praise of divinity? No. The praise that he is the last and the final messenger of Allah. And do not worship anyone. Allah wa kabbirhu takbira. And God is the greatest of all. So do not try to just inter intervene anything or associate anything with him in his omniscience, omnipresence and omnipotence. This is what Islam, 1400 years, I said there is no religion on earth which can do like this. The miracle, the trans transformation, as Jesus Christ said that, that a little lemon lemoneth the whole if the little amount of yeast does not, does not ferment the law of something wrong with your yeast, something wrong with your law do men gather grapes from thorns and thistles a good tree will reap the good fruit and the evil tree will reap the evil fruit so judge the nation by whole judge them guys i'm here muslims are here judge us and as a whole we are not saying we are perfect we are angels but i said relative perfection according to ratio proportion is the highest maybe christians are highest in the consensus form by you know checking off those things but in practicing you cannot show us a single candle or single you know finger to us that you are better than us in morality in sobriety in piety in brotherhood in charity in hygiene nothing anyways coming to the point so how would you debate them only fundamental topics hinduism fundamental topics what is your doctrine and aqidah don't talk extra with us talk to the pertaining that's all and other religions i don't think so they will like to confront you jews are hiding under those trees oxythoron trees like you know as the prophet says that gharqad, they will grow gharqad because it will protect them you know on the last of the days when they know that it's in written in their magazine to armageddon uh, sorry this yeah magazine by uh, philadelphia trumpet and they mentioned this armstrong's family that you know our time gonna be very end soon because of the jews and all these things are happening and they know that what's their destination is they know very well about themselves so as prophet ﷺ says the time will come even the stone will cry that the jew is hiding behind me i get him and get him and there will be no scot free there will be no ansar those helpers and savior etc when this thing will come, they know very well. So, confront, you will mostly find with Protestants, Christians, and the best ways, talk about fundamentals, you will see that their, you know, ground will be taken away under their feet, and they will trip and fall with all proclamations of Holy Spirit inside them. Fundamentals, I say, and my challenge is open from my platform to any Christian, I don't go for VIPism. I don't go for those credentials. I say bring any Christian who is dare to talk to the fundamentals of Christianity. I don't want to talk about any other things. Don't try to turn the tables because you're helpless. You apologetics. You started this apology from the dawn of the Christianity. Islam has nothing to apologize. Whatever Islam says, it says on the rock foundation of everything concrete foundation and you cannot shake any pillar of islam i'm telling you with your logic with your understanding yes fools you can keep barking against day and night and you can try to just show people that oh you see i find faults in islam and well you say apparently you find faults in islam but trust me logically rationally you know that christianity is not right you know in your heart every pastor knows that Christianity is not true. You know in your hearts, but what would you do? Those donations, those politics, those, you know, what you call uh, papacy going on for thousands of years. How would you convince those people who died? I'm asking this. So that's why it's not hard. I can understand. I have full empathy as well as sympathy for you guys. I go pity on you, but 
on the grounds of rationalism you know that Christianity has no grounds talk about Trinity you'll never be able to explain till now talk about divinity of Christ you just start you know fumbling fumbling here and there oscillation talk about original sin you don't know where it originated from start about is the Bible is God word full of contradictions after contradictions you not be able to prove it nothing on and on I said for example then original sin Jesus God is the Bible God's word Trinity crucifixion the crux of the matter the most fundamental point in Christianity crucifixion you know that crucifixion the exhibits are not matching with one another you know that your pastor knows it the critics of Bible knows but what would you do as I always say if you remove Paul says if Christ has not risen from the dead our preaching is vain our religion is vain meaning you have nothing to do if you are unable to prove that Jesus Christ really was resurrected if you can't prove it your game is finished you see every religion try to sell the point come to Islam Islam has no ambiguity your Bible says that God is not the author of confusion but droves after droves Christianity are getting in confusion and they are plunging into the psychological issues we call it cognitive dissonance cognitive is the mental ability of human beings how they behave to the particular notions if this to go if this thing go beyond understanding rationalism you just plunge into dissonance confusion so somehow you try to convince yourself inner deep figments okay fine this is what it is now uh, that's all I am I'm gonna follow that this is what you call cognitive dissonance Islam has no place for that Islam is it clear from the beginning there is one God and he's been sending his representatives on this planet whosoever follow the guidance and that particular representative he's going to heaven you pay for your own price but God is very big to forgive you keep coming again and again he's gonna keep forgiving you it's a relative perfection he doesn't want you to become angels he wants you to be to do sin but also repent some sins if you do with your fellow brethren you kill him you try to do something bad you have to pay the price in this dunya but for hereafter Allah knows that he's gonna forgive you or not but if you die in the state of associating partners with God calling his his creature that he's the creator or associating partner with any means there is no forgiveness for you and this is the main notion from the beginning from Adam al Islam till the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him what confusion in there what is the rocket science is there rocket science is this when you try to say that Jesus was God and he came down to this earth and still you do not understand what Trinity is